This season of Black Mirror, I believe, has been the most divisive one yet. There are people that are absolutely trashy on it and saying that all the episodes are trash. And some people who only like two episodes and saying that the rest are mid. And then there are people saying that the entire season is mid or that all the episodes were good and a return to form. So Joan is awful. The first episode of the series starts off kind of okay, kind of strange at first, but then proceeds to become super meta and actually quite funny and enjoyable. The premise is that this lady called Joan has her entire day recorded and dramatised as a series on a streaming platform where she's played by Sam Hayek, and that all of her friends and co-workers can watch it as well. And in turn this negatively affects Joan as she's portrayed to be a lot worse than she actually is, and in turn she ends up losing her fiancé, her job and overall her privacy. When I watched it, I was generally quite terrified for her because I imagined how scary it would be if this actually happened to you, where everything you did was painstakingly recreated and dramatised for all your friends to watch. If it was my day, I imagine it would be quite boring because all I do is sit in front of my computer and occasionally go to the toilet. Of course, Joan is upset that her life is basically ruined and she ends up going to her lawyer about it and wants to sue Streamberry, which is the name of the streaming service or This World's version of Netflix. There's one bit reminding me of that South Park episode with the Apple Human Centipede and read the terms and conditions and the lawyer simply answers that they harvest your data and spy on you through your phone. And the thing I find to be quite funny is how she kind of ignores it and she's not really super upset that she's being spied on. The lawyer explains that the entire show is AI generated from a supercomputer that makes it, which is how they are able to make the show so quickly and basically more or less in real time. That Simon Hyde gave the consent to use her likeness, which is why she's able to be in the show. Simon Hyde then appears and plays as herself and she ends up teaming up with Joan to take down Streamberry on the computer that makes the show, as, as Sam Hayek doesn't like the way that she's being portrayed doing all the disgusting things that Joan is doing. There's a big plot twist at the end which could be a bit silly, but I thought it worked quite well and added another layer to all of its metaness. At first I wasn't sure what the whole message and takeaway of the episode was. Was it the concern of AI becoming too smart? Was it how streaming services are kind of ruining film and TV by making stuff that lacks any soul and pumping out constant content just to boost engagement on their platforms? Is this episode about how data harvesting is being ignored entirely? Or is it about how most of us care about our image first and foremost and that we aren't bothered that a corporation has a continuous stream of data and information about us to the point they can make a simulated version? Joan cares more about the version of her that's presented on the show and how it makes her look awful. One of the things the side characters cared about the most was the way that they were presented and not the absurdity of the show's existence. Even Mac is fearful of how he is going to be portrayed and that him being unable to get his wood up will get, then be presented on the show and that he doesn't want to be known as the guy that couldn't get it up for Salma Hayek. I didn't actually see Joan as a bad person, she's just incredibly flawed and when she was talking to her therapist, she mentions that she doesn't have much control in her life, which leads her to making bad decisions. Joan is awful, the show in the show. Just focus on her bad traits and embellish the mistakes and, and bad choices she made to make her be perceived as way worse than she actually was. Instead of her being betrayed as an actual human being, she's portrayed as a black and white character of herself, which I wouldn't say is too different to how people view other people on social media. And with the rise of cancel culture and people making bad decisions, their entire lives can be ruined instantly. Later in the episode, when the CEO of Streamberry is, ha is talking to the interviewer and why they are making a show called Joan is Awful, something quite negative and not making a show called Joan is Awesome, and the CEO states that audiences enjoy seeing drama and negative stuff because that creates a better response and emotional reaction from them. Because the public doesn't care about human beings being human beings, they want to watch people be characters and cause drama because that is what is popular. That one of the most popular shows in England right now is a show that's just about drama and people causing issues to one another. When I was watching this episode, I was quite worried that the ending would be a lot darker with how Joan is being treated and, and stared at by normal people, and how she's seen as a monster by everyone. I was quite worried she would have done something a bit more self-destructive, which is a sad reality with the people whose very real lives are shown on social media reality TV. But I was quite glad the episode didn't go down that route and took the more screw the big company route. <laughs> I like the ending as well, this episode felt a bit like the Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2 episode. Joan is Awful isn't super super good compared to the rest of the episodes in this season. I would say it's one of the bottom ones, but you might be quite surprised given the fact I've only praised this episode. But I would say as a Black Mirror episode, it is okay, it, is a no, it ain't no national anthem. It's good fun, but kind of scary, but since the technology present within it isn't too far from what we currently have in our real world, and that's, where, and that's what Black Mirror is really known for, having like a slight technology that we have now and just pushing it to 100 and showing all the worst parts about it. So I would give Joan as awful a 6.5 out of 10 or maybe a 7 out of 10. Not bad, but compared to the rest of the episodes in this season, it would make a lot more sense as to why I ranked it this way. It is still worth your time, but it's not the true bleak and hopeless Black Mirror episode that you would be looking for. And even though it's still decent, 